Hi, I'm Chef Bisham here from Sweden, known as Bisham the Baker. I am a master baker traveling the world. I have been baking for over 30 years plus. With the sourdough, I've been baking uh, 25 years. So I'm here at the Impresso Expresso Patisserie for sharing some recipes and training some of the staff. So today we're going to do two bread. For the program, welcome to 2 PK. To baking uh, sourdough bread, it's very special. Sourdough bread is, is nothing new. People think it is something very new today. It's became a very big trend around the world, especially during the pandemic. Uh, the percentage of the sourdough baking around the world went over 400%. So today we're going to show you how to start your own sourdough starter from the scratch. So what do we need? We need just flour and water. Same amount of flour and same amount of water. And then uh, we just have to mixing it. What's happened? In the flour, there's enzyme. The enzyme will create the lactic acid bacteria. And then we have a lot of bacteria from our kitchen, from our house, that will go directly into the, the jar. We don't close the jar the first day. We just leave it open to, to get it active, just naturally. We don't put any, any other, other stuff in it. So. So one can see, it looks like a small paste, you know. And uh, what will happen now, we will have to do this every day. We have to refresh it, we call refresh it, or feeding it. Every day with one spoon of flour, one spoon of water, to let it get act activation, to get the bubbles. Uh, after this process can take between, this depends. Maybe here in Kenya, you know, it will go faster because you have a warmer place here. I come from Sweden, it's more cold there and it will take a longer time. So this process can take from 10 days to 15 days. So after 15 days, when it's ready, and then we will have to refresh it before we start making the dough. So the next process you're going to see when I'm going to make the dough, how the ready starter or we call it a leaven when it's go in the dough, how it's look. So the next process will be, I'm making a very basic, a very basic, we call it a pain de campagne or country loaf in English. So we have a mixture of flour here, mostly white flour. We have a little bit of whole wheat and a little bit of rye flour for getting the nice color and the flavor into it. So here one can see a bubbly, ready sourdough starter. So this is where we put in the, in the dough. Put, I put the water. No yeast, we don't use this yeast at all. It's completely natural, no yeast. So I will, that's why we call it sourdough bread. Eh? Because why, why it became so popular suddenly around the world? Because I think people have understand that eating sourdough bread, it is more healthier for her, for us. Because the process sourdough bread is made with a minimum, uh, actually there's two research is done, one from Sweden and one from US. One from Sweden and one from US have been showing how the process of sourdough, it is much easier for us for digestion. And it's very good for us to get all the nutrition and vitamins. Oh, sourdough come uh, from, uh, I heard the, the story, it came from Egypt, like 6,000 years ago, somebody mix it a piece of flour and water and uh, and left it outside and start fermenting and that's so all they could put it in the bread 
And this is where the story is. So I will bring the dough on the table. It is easy to mix. So So we will call the, the kneading. So actually, we don't need to work so much on the dough. Eh? We don't need to work uh, too much. We're just going to, to work a very little, mixing it very gently and little bit. And, uh, and we call this like a stretch and fold, you know? But what I'm doing, I'm just turning the dough, you know, so like this. So this process can take very little time, six to eight minutes. And then what will happen? So what will happen, we will put it back in the bowl and let's time do the job. I would like to cover it with a plastic film because why I'm using a plastic film because Plastic film is uh, keeping the moist inside. The cloth will dry the, the dough. So, because uh, we, if you use cloth, because it's going to wait for half an hour first, and then the dough will get dry otherwise if you use cloth. With the plastic, it will keep all the moist inside. So it's a good tip to use plastic, or we can just put it directly here. Yeah, put uh, So we have it just like this, and then we will let it rest for half an hour, and then we will go to the second process. Hi. Here we are making uh, a oats porridge and chia seeds bread. This is a very special bread. It's very healthy because of the oats porridge inside. And then uh, we have the chia seeds, you know. So we are putting uh, all the ingredients, and then we, it's only sourdough also. So I'm just putting the oats uh, in, the, in the dough here and put the seeds. The oats is like, we call it the oats porridge. You just take oats and pour boiling water and let it rest for a little bit to make it soft. Mm. And uh, just spatula. Yeah, this one. And then this is a sourdough starter. So, and then we have the water. The bowl is a little too small, but. Uh, oh. We will bring it to the table. I think it's easy. I bring it directly on the table. What we do, you can do this at home also. You just make it like a well in the, in the middle. And then slowly, slowly. We bring it together. One is incorporate, we go again. How long have I been baking? Oh, it's almost... Uh, I'm a chef, because baking has been part of my work for all the time, so 38 years. So for 38 years I have been uh, baking. But I started like uh, anyone else, baking with yeasted bread. But uh, when I uh, started baking with sourdough, and then uh, with the social media, you know, everything, uh, I got well known, you know, and then uh, for the last past 10 years, I've been traveling the many corners of the world. So it's my first time in Kenya, but I have been uh, the whole Europe, USA, Asia, India, so, that is my, 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 my speciality, yeah. Sourdough, yeah, you can. Sourdough is my speciality. So, 
so we cut it. Because in sourdough bread, it has more, more hydration, more water. So that's why it gets little sticky. With some training, one will... Uh, and then if you have a machine at home, a small dough mixer, it's not a problem, it will make life much easier. But everyone can just bake sourdough with this small, simple process at home. You just have to follow a few process. We don't need, we don't need to knead so much, as I said. Eh? See, we are kneading it for a couple of minutes, and then we'll make it rest. Because of the porridge is pretty sticky, you know, so the oats porridge. That is a very, very nice bread, healthy bread. Some, here you have some flour. If it's a little sticky, you can always use a very little flour. So, so that's it. Not so much. Scrape, scrape your hand. Your hand, your hand. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get the dough rest for half an hour and then we will do the stretch and fold to build strength in it. And then we will do the shaping and then it will go in the fridge overnight for the next day to bake. Okay, see you next. So now the, the country loaf dough has been resting for 30 minutes, the first rest. As after we knead it, you can see the dough has been resting for 30 minutes. I'm just taking away the, the cling film. So it's, uh, put it on the side. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the call stretch and fold. So I wet my hand, wet hand. I take the dough, you can see the dough by itself is stretching, I pull it, I turn the ball, I pull it again, I turn the ball, I pull it again, I turn the ball, I pull it, maybe five, six, seven times, you know. So in this way, I will let it rest again for 30 minutes, and then we're going to do two times more stretch and folds. And then after that, we're going to shape it. So after the three, after the three stretch and fold, we're going to divide the dough and then do the shaping. After the shaping, the dough goes in the fridge overnight. And then what's happened just before we have to bake it, it will look... This, this dough has been in the, from yesterday, is ready, ready now to go in the oven. So you can see, some bubbles is coming and it's very, very soft, eh? it's proof. Overnight in the fridge. So sourdough bread, proof in the fridge and then you can, from the fridge directly, you can bake it. Okay, now we're going to bake the bread. So, okay. Oh, we're just spraying uh, the trays. Yeah, at home, if you have parchment paper, baking paper, you can use baking paper because uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to flip the bread upside down. So that means this will go in the bottom. What I do, I hold the, the cloth from the basket. You can just any, use any basket you have. So I will do it. I will just pull the basket away. And then uh, the bread, because we're going to have six bread, so you can put, put here so much.
So remember to have space if you bake more than one bread, to have space between the bread because they're going to expand in the the seed with the flour. So the bread is good to have a little flour dust on it because it's give a nice color, a nice look, a nice contrast. You know, the small details you do a lot of. Well, just we already have some flour from the basket, but I'm just doing a. The shift is very big, so. So. Uh, the most important, the most important is uh, if I bake the bread like this, it will become like a balloon. But if I do a scoring in it, I let the air from the bread go out and let the bread expand. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do a very simple cut. You know, I'll just do a small, I use a razor blade and to do a small cut. So like this, it will go in the oven now. Do more, 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 more. Okay. So what we is what we are doing now in the small oven at home, you can have a small pan in the bottom, and then you can just when you're heating up the oven, you have the pan in to get hot. When you put your bread in, and then you just pour a little flour to create the steam. In this way, the bread doesn't get dry, and it will get a nice crust. So sourdough baking, we need always steam. In the professional deck oven, in the bakery, you have stone and you have an injection. The modern, the, the, the modern uh, oven today, you have a switch where you press and the steam will go automatically. If you are baking at home, normally you have to start on very high temperature. I don't know. It's from oven to oven. Some oven is max 250 and some oven is 275. So I would say we start on 250. Preheat the oven, maybe it will take 45 minutes. And then when you put the bread in, you put the steam in, you leave the bread for 12 minutes on 250, and then we go down for another 20 minutes on 200 degrees. It should be ready. We have done three times, stretch and fold. Now we're going to divide it and to do the shaping. You prepare the basket with the cloth, with the, uh, I need the scraper, with plastic. Yeah, both, both. So now we have done the three times the stretch and fold, like I showed you earlier. So now the bread, the dough is ready for divide and to shape for the basket. Have some flour on the table and divide your, your dough like this. So. I flatten it a little bit, what I do, and then we will just roll it. Okay, we do one roll, one third of the dough, I press it. I take the two edge on the side, I pull it in the middle, and then I keep rolling. I keep rolling until I come to the end, I close it. I stretch it a little bit towards me. So that's it. So what's happened now, it goes, we have a, a basket with a cloth inside. With a cloth, it's become easy to get the bread out. So I will put the smooth side in the bottom because this will be up tomorrow. So we can just stitch it a little bit. Have a little flour. So you can put a cling film on it and then just put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow morning, when, after you have heat up your oven, and then you can just bake it. So now we have all the whole process from the beginning to the finish. You saw the whole process. You saw the whole process. We were mixing by hand and then we were shaping it and then uh, the dough went to the fridge because we had to prepare the dough 
from the day before, we took it out. It's the same process. From the fridge, we put it in the oven to bake. So this was the one, like we bake by hand, you know. So you can see, it's, it's, it's very nice, soft now. So we can just check into it and see how it looks. So So what's happened with sourdough bread, it will keep fresh for four, four days without any problem. Eh? So, so you see now, it's a nice fermentation in it. Uh, beautiful, soft, very soft crumb, you know. So you can do anything with it, you can toast it, you can... Uh, yeah, it's up to you, you can make bruschettas, you know, if the bread is... After five days, you can put some olive oil and some grated garlic with the olive oil and put it in the oven and still you will have a beautiful tasty bread even after five days or if you have a toaster you put it in the toaster it will be like fresh just put some butter you don't need anything more on it and here we had the second dough uh, the second dough with, uh, with the oats, oats porridge and the chia so we're going to check this one too. Yeah, you see this bread is a little different because it's more tight, compact, because it has a lot of ingredients in it. It has a chia and the oat porridge. So this is very good. It is soft. You know, it is soft and, and this will keep a little longer because of the oats porridge. So it will make the bread keep longer. You can just toast it in the oven and eat it or just put it in the toaster. It will be just great. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Peanut butter jam, it's up to you, you know. <laughs> so. so here at Impress Espresso, the sourdough breads that we baked, the country loaf and the oats and chia seeds bread, we serve them in an authentic way with guacamole, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, homemade red chili. You're welcome to come and try them, Karibu. And these breads, these sourdough breads, we have learned them from the master baker, Bisham Sogrim from Sweden. Really happy to be here. I enjoy my time. Hakuna Matata.